WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices, all the sectors inside the S&P 500 are trading to the upside. Dow's up by 365 points, nearly 1%, a half percent or six-tenths percent or 6 tenths percent for the S&P, 31 points, three-tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 62 points there, a half percent for the Russell, that's an 11-point move. Semis are up a half percent or 21 points. Trending's up nine-tenths, it's 134 points to the upside. You've got gold trading out at 25.26, it's up $2. Silver's up 1% or 28 pennies, trading out at 28.48. Lights recruit up 84 cents, it's a little over one and a quarter percent move. A natural gas is off 10 pennies, nearly 5% to the downside. And the 30-year treasury is flat at 125. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We'll begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. We know the ES Mini has got a TD9 count top. We had a close below the uh, bottom of its profile on Friday. It closed below it on Thursday. We've got a profile change in trend. We've got a bit of a rally. That rally was really caused by that one day rate of change above 10% on Friday. So that was a signal to expect and anticipate some type of rally today. Well, that is in place. Adding to that idea of a rally was the NQ getting back to its TD9 count breakout level. So it has a TD9 count top. It's got uh, two of them, actually. Uh, the one I'm referring to is the most recent one. Its breakout level support is 18.383. Uh, the low so far, uh, well, the low on Friday was down at the 18.339 level. Uh, today's low has been down at the 18.386 area. So we're at an area of support. Will the support hold? It's possible. Uh, I don't think so. But uh, let's take a look at the U.S. dollar index. It has formed a new profile this morning. So it's got a T9 count bottom, was tested on Friday, tested and rejected. But today you've got a new profile. And that resistance level's up at 10, I'm sorry, 101.85. 101.855 is the exact resistance level for the U.S. dollar index. Worth watching there. The U.S. dollar, uh, the uh, gold contract still just in a sideways consolidation. Really been consolidating at these levels here since August, uh, middle of August, August 22nd to be exact. We had silver make its way back to its TD9 count breakout level in the 2794 uh, area. But it really needs to get above the uh, bottom of that daily profile back inside the profile 2876 for any kind of rally of substance to form lights recruit needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the d point pattern natural gas is pulling back it is right now trading below profile support that level is 2.192 2.192 if we close below that we likely at least target the high from august 28th and inside the 30-year treasury just a sideways consolidation that remains in effect folks stay tuned for the trader's ed show but if you're off to start your mind, I have a marvelous one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.